Amen. Shall we please turn our Bibles to Exodus chapter 12, verse 13. Exodus 12, 13. I read, and the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you you where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. Amen. This evening, I'm not going to preach or teach. I'll just touch on some points uh, on the power of the blood. Yesterday, we were trying to look at the blessings enriched by the covenant. And we could learn some things there. See, from there, I'm going to lift up because of the need to pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It said here, it said the blood will be a sign for you in the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. The blood power indicates to us the strength of we being saved from God's judgment. From what we read here. The judgment that came upon the land of Egypt because of the blood that was upon the lintel and the door or the two posts to the house. The Israelites were to be saved from that judgment by reason of the blood. By reason of that blood, they are protected from the destroyer. They are protected from the destroyer and the, the blood signifies the mark that they are children of God. Similarly, the blood of Jesus redeems us from sin and its consequence. The blood of Jesus, which is the blood of the Lamb, that was a symbol of what the Israelites offer. So, to us here today, the blood is not just historical. The power is not just historical. It's still present in the moment. That as we go into the month of September, we are sure every judgment that comes and it is from the kingdom of hell, the blood of Jesus will secure, save us from that judgment. Amen. So we have been redeemed from sin that brings about the devil's judgment upon his own. And the consequence of judgment cannot come near our dwelling. Another aspect of it, how it relates with us to us today, is the blood of Jesus protect us from God's wrath and judgment. So the rot of the devil, the works of the wicked, cannot plague us, cannot make for us to suffer affliction the second time. Why? The blood of Jesus had redeemed us from sin and from judgment. So it is now a mark on us as children of God. So the blood of Jesus has make, marked us out as children of God. As we can be harmed. We are not of the devil. We are not of the flesh. We are not of the works of darkness. So we have been marked out. Tell somebody I am marked out by the blood. What if you look at it? If I would have wished to speak on it. If you look at the power of the blood. Remember? When Noah was to be 
released to come back to the earth after the destruction before the covenant of the rainbow was made a blood was shared from the cleansed uh, animal that were cleansed and the moment that blood was shared God said he will never he made a covenant and that covenant effect is still there today what of Abraham? When God was to make a covenant with Abraham, in Genesis chapter 15, we're told that Abraham was asked to bring birds and other things. And he severe the animals, but the boar was left. But what am I saying? The blood was involved, and the covenant is still to effect today. Now, when you look at the offering of Isaac, that now provoke the depth of God's covenant on Abraham, you know that that is a signal or a symbol of offering the blood of him. Now, if you look at Moses, it's in strength. There was a king that Israel where the battle was hot against the king, and the king brought about his firstborn, he slaughtered him, and the moment it did that the wrath of God, the Israelites were warned, don't venture it again. Can you remember when Elijah offered the blood in a right manner? There was attention of God that came that made for the consumption of the sacrifice and that made it possible for God's presence to take charge. Sometimes, somehow, when you hear of the blood, we may not see it in that practical form. But our faith in Christ has released us into the strength and effect of the power of the blood. What do I mean? If you look at Joseph, because he had faith in God, he lived his life in relationship with God. And that relationship with God, he sacrificed everything that would have been a means to help him out of trouble. And in that way, it's like offering yourself. And self, when self is offered, the life of human is indeed there. If you look at what happened to Daniel, to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they didn't consider their life as anything. And yet, they offered in obedience to God. Job, the same strength. He was not mindful of death. It means he signed out in today's strength. We need to just walk in obedience, in relationship with God, irrespective of the threat around it. Yield yourself. And when you do this, the power of the blood will engage you, will bring its effect and life in you. And this month, certainly, the Lord is going to secure us, protect us, because he has forgiven us and cleansed us. Look at what happened in John chapter 1 verse 12. He said, as many that received him and believe in his name, as many that received him and believe in his name, to then give him power. So, the strength of Israel in this Exodus chapter 12 verse 13 is if you walk in obedience to these demands then you will be secured but if you are not in obedience if you don't walk in obedience you will be outside the blood and when you are outside the blood be very sure what happened to those outside the blood will happen to you no matter how much of proclamation you make no matter how, uh, how much of offering you make no matter how much of activities you are engaging, as long as you are not within the blood and disobedient, sponsors people, you know, not being in relationship with God, sponsors people outside, out of the blood cover. So it's my prayer that the Lord will enable us, energize us to remain perpetual in obedience to the rule of, your glory, of the glory of God. The glory of the Lord will become the strength we walk in.
in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I guess we understand that brief. So, when we sustain ourselves in relationship with God and we walk in continuous strength of that relationship, it means whatever you are doing at that instance, you are walking against, contrary to some powers. And if those ones comes up with their ugly head, you don't mind what they do. You hold on tight as a primary focus of your life, your affections, your desire, your pursuit, your commitment, your, your consciousness is centered on that glory. And you have resolved to make it your life. Then, the strength of God will come to display his glory. So we're going to pray this evening. Shall we please rise up? First, let's give him thanks for speaking his word to us. The blood of Jesus is a sign. The blood of Jesus is a sign. It's a wonder. The blood of Jesus, by reason of that blood, the Lord has promised he will pass over. We will not be judged. We will be saved from the, God's, God's, from the wrath of God, from the judgment of God, protected from the destroyer, and will be marked as a son, as a daughter of God. Let's give you thanks for the privilege of this blood. By raising of the blood, we are saved. The Israelites in this place were told that several plea came, but they couldn't bring a law or make freedom, save Israel until Israel sacrificed the land, the blood of the lamb. The moment that was done, they were delivered. I want us to pray, Father, the blood of Jesus has attained for me. The blood of Jesus has redeemed me. The ransom has been paid. A fool for my life. Let's pray, Lord, we are saved from every consequence from judgment, from the destroyer, from the happiness that is not of God in the month of September. Lord, we are saved. We are delivered from the weapons of the wicked, from the arrows of the wicked, from the tricks of the wicked, from the conspiracy of the wicked. They will have no sway over us. We have been redeemed from sin and its consequence. We are protected from the wrath of God. We have been told the power of the blood is not just historical is present and active in our lives today. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Let's pray this prayer. Lord we ask for a special mark of protection and favor on us and our family in the new month. Let's pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's ask of the Lord for a special mark, special mark of the blood to protect us, to, fo to favor us. The mark of his favor by the reason of the blood. The mark of protection by reason of the blood. Just as Israel were marked for protection by the blood of the Lamb, 
the Israelites were protected. Several plagues came upon the land of Egypt. That was it enough. That was it powerful enough to save Israel from oppression and affliction. Let's pray, Lord, as we move into the month of September. Throughout, oh Lord, you will secure us. You will protect us from the works of the wicked. You will protect us, preserve our loyal lives, preserve our souls from affliction, from our oppression. We will not be denied of your glory. The works of the wicked will not, will not prevail over us. No conspiracy. No wish creativities. So much of wickedness has been demonstrated on Israel. And the Lord used so many things to appeal to Pharaoh to allow Israel to live or to go to serve the Lord. But Pharaoh resisted. Whatsoever that is contenting with us, preventing us from serving God rightly, making us as if serving God is like struggle. As if coming to church is difficult. As if studying our Bible is, is not something attractive. Praying as if we are struggling to pray. It's as if we don't enjoy or value the presence of God. Whatsoever it is that the devil tend to do to hinder our zeal, to hinder our passion. To make us not to be hungry of God, longing for God. Let's plead the blood of Jesus. That the power in the blood useless the effect. Make the activities that once that had once hindered us. The workings of the Egyptians that made life unbearable for Israel by reason of the blood of the Lamb overnight they were rescued from it Lord let this blood play strength over my life and activities throughout the month of September no power no workings of the devil and his cohort None of their deals will hinder our joy from being full. Our life will not be haunted by their deeds and their plans and their decisions. Mariana Bokolo Shizatari Alabasayas. Whatever the devil have been using, the works of darkness have been using to achieve succeed against you. Let's declare tonight they have no power again, they are no effect on you. I will never suffer their consequence again. And delivered. I am safe.
In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We're going to pray. Lord, spare us from the destructive plague. Spare us, our loved ones, every church member, from all kinds of evil, or harm, or disaster, or calamity that will come up in the month of September. Lord, spare us as you spare Israel from that destructive plague upon Egypt. I know you are praying. Main Grodon di anaman do shita sandoria. Mo malalo zintoria la don zintoria. Lord spare us as a church. Spare our loved ones. Spare, O oh Lord Almighty, us from a destructive plague that we may want to come upon the earth in the month of September. Lord, we are spared from it. Oh Lord, we are spared from every evil, every harm and calamity. Lord, oh God, they will not come near our dwelling. They will not become our life at all. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's pray that if no evil, no harm will befall us or our loved ones by the new month. No evil will come near us. Let's also declare divine exemption from trouble and calamity. Let's pray for divine exemption from troubles and calamity. I know you are praying. The month is unknown. But by reason of our faith, we are claiming the strength of God over the month. The devil and his God we always promote calamity and wickedness. But we are not of him. Because of that, we are asking of the Lord, exempt us. Divinely exempt us from any trouble, from calamity, from disaster, from every form of evil, from the destroyer, from the powers that be. Lord, defend us. Let's pray that the blood of Jesus will be our shield and our defense throughout the month of September. The blood of Jesus will be our shield and our defender. I know you are praying. That the blood of Jesus will be our shield and our defender. No arrows of the wicked. Oh, no witchcraft spare. Lord, no manipulation. No power of darkness of marine spirits. No gang up. No bitterness of any form. None. We have access to us. Because the blood of Jesus has shielded us and defended us against those activities. Main Gradalabo Shisatarialas. Mo Marin Grondo Shisatarialas. Lord, the blood of Jesus will defend us against the cook up, against the set up, against, oh Lord, every form of bitterness, envy against us. Every form of witchcraft activities. Lord, every decision taken in the coven by powers that be. Lord, every altar that receives sacrifice against us. Lord, we are defended and protected against those devices. In the name of the Lord Jesus.
In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. One of the things you will see from what happened here in that Exodus chapter 12, we are told that the destroyer spared the houses. Every soul that was behind the house wherein the blood was found. But the wickedness of the wicked now became a means of their suffering. We are going to pray, Father, judge every wicked and their wickedness. Make their plan to become what they, they, they have vested. Their evil plan becomes their life. The pits, the dark, they will use the set to feel it. Their wickedness becomes their life. They will not be spared from their wickedness. Because they are missed or fixed. Merundo setayalabandorias. Mori grondo zizatarinandoria. Israelites were not spared them. They were not, they were not released aloud to suffer the plans of the wicked. The Egyptians suffered them. The Egyptians suffered what they planned. The sufferings, the afflictions, the oppression. They had a taste of it. Let's pray. Let them eat the food they cook and make them to carry the taste. We are set free from it. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We're going to pray, Lord, let your blood speak for me and my household. I declare our innocence and righteousness before you. Let's pray that the blood of Jesus will speak for us. Speak for our loved ones, for our household. Speak for every member of this church. Wherever they are in the surface of the earth. Let's pray that the blood of Jesus will speak for us. Let's pray for all our board of trustee members. Every school, every pastorate. Let's plead that the blood of Jesus will speak for everyone. As the blood spoke against those that were not it's within the blood cover. Lord, let it speak against those that are not within the blood cover. The agent of, of the power of darkness. The agent of the wicked. Lord, they are consumed by their wickedness. In Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. I know you know this. The visit of God to Israel in this place was a monk that brought them out of oppression and that made them to become fruitful. If you look at down the path, maybe verse 35. And 36 or so. He said, And the children of Israel did according to the word of, the, of Moses. And they borrowed of the Egyptians jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment. But the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians so that they lent unto them such things as they required. And they spoiled the Egyptians. Now, God delivering us from every obstruction it means we have been released into our fruitfulness now let us pray because the month of September is a month of fruitfulness and refreshment Lord like the apostle Paul in Ephesians chapter 5 maybe we'll read it Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18 Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18 be not drunk with wine wearing his essence, but be filled with the spirit. 
Now, the Spirit of God came upon the Israelites and they were delivered from those things that were denying them of their rights. In Colossians chapter 1 verse 10, Colossians 1 10. I read they, that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing the knowledge of God. Now, Israel have been seeking to go and serve the Lord, to go and walk worthy of the Lord. But they, are, they, they have been denied. Now they have been visited and liberated. So they walked. They walk worthy of the Lord. And they please the Lord. We are going to pray, Father, in the month of September. You make us a walk worthy of you. To please you continually. As we please you, you will make us fruitful in every good work. You will make us fruitful in every good work. You will make us fruitful. I know you are praying. Leave Marando Zetarialawash in the month of September, O oh Lord Almighty, because we'll be free from every obstructions and obstacles and calamity. You will make us, O oh God, to walk worthy of you, to please you, and to be very fruitful in every of our endeavors. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In our business, you make us fruitful because we will please you. In our health, in everything we do, you will make us fruitful. May grown the Yanondo Shizatarialas. Let's pray. The Lord will make us to represent good works. Wherever we, are, we find ourselves is good works, not bad works. In business, good works. In our academies, good works. In our coming out, in our going out and coming in, good works. We'll be fruitful. Everything we touch to do, the Lord will make it to be very profiting. We will profit in every second of this month of September. No client will turn us down. No cause will be difficult for us. No business will restrain us. No weather will be harsh on us. The economy of the nation will not be hard on us. Look at what happened to Israel. They swear the Egyptians. Let's pray. Everyone the Lord had ordained to bring about our fruitfulness. Every work we need to do to bring about our prosperity. Let's ask of the Lord. Let them cross our path. We assess them. All our benefits will not be denied of us. Every privilege the Lord had attached, every glory, every gold, every silver, every opportunity that the Lord had allotted for us in the month of September none of them, none of them will all elude us. They will find their fulfillment upon our lives. I know you are praying. System will be under pressure. System will be under pressure to make happen what belongs to us. People will be under pressure to release what the Lord had ordained. Just like Israel, Egypt, we are under pressure 
to release the gold and the jewelries to release all unto the Israelites until they were spoiled. No opportunity will pass us by. No glory will elude us. All that the Lord has released unto our lives, they will find their fulfillment upon us. We will not miss the location. Every location that contains our location, hey, our location will find bearing there. As Joseph gone to the house of Potiphar, all that were of Joseph, they find fulfillment in Joseph. In the prison, the palace. Lord, let's pray. Lord, let, let's pray. Lord, let everything you have ordained for me because the fulfillment of my life, not judgment, not condemnation. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Sometimes you may have suffered some level of challenges since the year began. But we're going to ask of the Lord as Israel started afresh after the Passover, after the blood at him, we're going to ask of the Lord for a fresh start, a clean state, a clean slate. A renewing sense of our purpose that the Lord will renew our strength. The Lord will renew the strength of our purpose in the month of September. That the Lord will help us to start fresh. We will not enter into the most stressful. No stress at all. No stress at all. It's a month of our fruitfulness. A month of our restoration, a month of refreshment. Let's declare we are refreshed in the mind of God, in the grace of God. Lord, grant us wisdom and clarity of mind to prioritize God's will, to see the fulfillment of God's will upon our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want us to still pray that prayer from Leviticus, Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22 and 23. I've raised it before, but I think some of us didn't understand. I read, It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. Now, stop there first. If you look at the Israelites, the Egyptians have succeeded. But the mercies of God, the compassion of God that does not fail showed up. And God gave the instruction go and kill a lamb. And He gave the direct instructions that will rescue them. And they followed the instruction, and the love of God was celebrated. Joy was in the house. In Egypt, I mean in Israel, but the Egyptians they were crying. We're going to pray, Lord, let your mercy overtake me in the month I'm entering. In this new month of September, let your mercy overtake me that I will not be consumed. That compassion that fell not, 23 now, that compassion that fell not, Lord, let it be renewed every morning. Let your faithfulness be proved. Let your faithfulness overtake me. Your faithfulness that never fails. It made it possible for Israel. Look at the life of Daniel. Look at Joseph. Look at 
Mordecai. It was the mercies of God that preserved these ones. If not the mercies of God, that night, the hammer set up the gallon. If the king had not read that book, the hammer would have succeeded. Let's pray. Every second of the month of September, I will enjoy your mercy, O oh Lord. Your mercy will undertake for me. Your mercy, your mercy, Lord. Let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy prevail over every matter that concerns me. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Proverbs 3, 6, 5 and 6. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all the heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and shall direct thy paths. If Israel trust in God wasn't allowed at this point, there is no way they would have done what they did. There is tendency for us to be deaf to the spirit instruction if we don't have his presence. And the presence of the Lord is marked by the workings and operations of the spirit. It takes the spirit of the almighty to make us to acknowledge God. We are going to pray, Father, help me to walk within the confinement of the oppression of the Holy Spirit. Let your spirit come mightily upon me to grant me grace to study the word of the Lord. To study God's word. To receive instructions from the Almighty directions on the way to go so that I can walk worthy of the Lord to please him. If Israel had not listened to that instruction, if Mordecai had no grace of the Almighty, there is no way that would have prepared the king not to sleep, to be reading records of the past. Let's pray, O oh Lord Almighty, make Lord, grant me wisdom and clarity of mind to prioritize your will and your purpose in this new month. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I think we have read it before. We will still read it again. Ephesians 5, 18. Then Acts chapter 1, verse 8. He said, And be not drunk with wine, wherein is essence, but be filled with the Spirit. Amen. Can you remember the same Moses that went to tell the story of how God wanted them to be delivered from Egypt and later they turned against him and they said yesterday we listened to you now see the suffering we are now suffering we are not going to listen to you and it was a, like a backstabbing on Moses but this day the presence of God was so clear and real the Spirit of God came mightily. They were all filled. In Acts chapter 1 verse 8 it said, But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. 
Now, if the spirit of the Almighty will not come upon us, won't become evidence of his presence. So in the month of September, we are going to pray, Father, there is no second that will not be filled with your spirit. Fill me up. Fill me up. Send forth your spirit. Energize your spirit. Enable me, empower me, enrich me with the presence of your spirit to ignite my heart, to study, to hear your word, to be passionate, to be hungry, to be longing for the Almighty, to desire God more than ever. I know you are praying. Main grondo she's and Torialas. Lord, I will to totally be filled with your spirit and your mind. Throughout the, my, the month of September, Lord, you will feel me to overflow. Oh Lord, you cause me to long for you. You cause me, oh Lord, to long for you continually. You make me to be hungry of you, to desire you more than physical food. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's pray that. For a heart that, that is pleasing to the Lord. A heart that is pleasing to the Lord is a life that is fruitful. Is a life that honors God. A life that is pleasing to the Lord is a life that is fruitful and that honors God. Let's pray for our heart to well up towards the Almighty God. To love the Lord that we will set our affection on the things above. We will live here with eternity in view. With the grace of his glory. The grace of his might. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Now the last prayer point I want to raise. If you notice what happened in this Exodus, the children of Israel were preserved. Not just only preserved, protected. The provision they were ever need in the journey were made available. We are going to pray. Lord, throughout the month of September, preserve us. Lord, provide to meet us at the point of our need. Lord, guide us through the month of September. Lord, guide us through the month of September. That the Lord will keep us safe in his loving kindness and care. Lord, we are preserved. Throughout the month of September, we are preserved. All the provision Israel needs for the journey, they were granted. Lord, grant us all the providence you have ordained for us in the month of September. We walk in that reality. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we will not lack your leadership. You will guide us. You will instruct us the way to go. Lord, lead us through safe paths. Lord, keep us safe in your loving kindness. Keep us safe in your care. Oh Lord, throughout the month of September. Lord, keep us safe. As a church, as individual, and loved ones, and everyone that has something to do with us. Keep, preserve everyone. Provide, submit our need. Lord, guide, protect us. 
keep us safe in your loving kindness in the name of the Lord Jesus thank you almighty father in Jesus mighty name we are praying as we have prayed so shall it be the grace and the glory of God that came upon the Israelites in the land of Egypt and they were secure, preserved, provided for. That grace and the glory of the Almighty comes upon every one of us. Receive it in the name of Jesus. That grace will be assured. We preserve us. Lord, we be assured against judgment, against destruction, against calamity, against every deal of the power of darkness. In the name of Jesus, Lord Almighty, by the power of your presence, you will protect us. As we go into the month of September, we will not be moved because the Lord is ahead of us. You will grant us rest. Rest from trouble. Rest from calamity. Rest from every deal of the power of darkness. Rest from every threat. Economic hardship. In the name of the Lord Jesus, rest from every evil, rest from every form of danger. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, rest from harm. In the name of Jesus, Lord Almighty, you will provide to meet us at the point of our needs. We will not lack your leadership. You will guide us. You will instruct us on the way to go. We will live worthy of you. Pleasing you, our hearts we live to please you. We will live here on earth, oh God, with eternity in view. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Almighty. Worship and exalt you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying.